this is what came today. Well, welcome. Well, welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. Uh, today, we are talking about these. They just came in the mail. And yes, I am supposed to be at work, but we don't have any work this weekend. I didn't work on Tuesday. In fact, I didn't work Sunday or Tuesday. I only worked Saturday and Monday for this pay period and uh, whatever I get next week. So, um, well, for the next pay period in December um, is the one I'm working on. Uh, so I accidentally loaded Throwback Thursday on Wednesday because uh, of the days that I was working. What do you think of the eyebrows, guys? I like this shape today, kind of. Now, granted, I am still trying that, like, product I don't like but I'm really liking the shape because it's giving me um some options to do my eyeshadow differently with some different shapes that I really like and actually this one's shaped a little bit differently than this one this one uh, I think it's because I put my sweatshirt on and so this one kind of got pushed down I don't want to mess with it though you know what I mean so um what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do um so yeah if I have you see pretty pro well no I don't have too many cruddy products on just the eyebrow thingy um but other than that i was gonna, so i woke up here here's the story i woke up well first of all the video uh, is going to be the title uh, we're going to be swatching out Inslee rain flutter and flourish and doing an eye look with flourish today because i have to use these bright colors i haven't had good neons ever so i have to um I, i've had neons but not like this kind of quality neons so i just have to play with that first today so we'll do um we'll do the whole review thing the new thing that i'm doing and i already have these parts watched out but what i want to do is uh just quickly let you know that uh hoppy or hoppy go lucky i called it hoppy by nature hoppy go lucky launched on friday and it is $26 and they dropped the price of nutty by nature to $26 and if you use somebody's code um, maybe like Heather, uh, ashes on my lashes. It's just AOML save 10% or you might want to use the Ensley reins. You can use it one time. I just found out about this one last night. Welcome 15 and you'll save 15% off one time. And it's like your first time shopping with them to get like 15% off. So, um, 15% off welcome 15 only good one time. I've never used mine. So I'm going to use it on my last purchase of the last two palettes that I don't own. I only do not own Strawberry Moon and Twisted Tea Party. So I'm just going to have to pick them up. By the way, next year is going to be a no buy except for replacements. And um, it has to be from either Inslee Rain, Bella Beauty Bar, uh, Unearthly, or um, Blend Bunny. Other than that, or an adept. And if it's not from there, I'm not allowed to buy next year. So it, I'm going to be pushing out different content, lots of different tips and tricks. And it's not going to be the usual generic ones that you're constantly hearing. I'm going to get into some real money saving tips for you. Things that we're not thinking about. A lot of stuff is just a lot of creativity. I don't know what it is, but whatever was like really like stuck on my brain to like fog my creativity has finally lifted and my creativity is finally back. And I have an entire page here of just video ideas for you guys and like series here and videos within videos and so like I have some really amazing stuff that's going to come out that's going to be really original too I think that you're not really going to be seeing from other people so I'm really trying to work on the quality of my content you're like get to it it's already been four minutes uh the quality of my content and uh you know just it's going to be better is what I'm trying to say. And I'm hoping that my very last two shorts that I posted with the Inslee Rain, uh, hopefully those two little shorts with just the palettes can kind of be a reflection of where I'm trying to move or where we're going to move. I mean, we're going to do this. Um, and uh, so today came Flutter and Flourish, precious, cute boxes, same boxes as usual, same, uh, you know, fragile sticker and everything, same protection as usual. And on the label, like I said, I was going to start showing these again. Here's my two. So if you want to pick up Flutter, it's $33. And it's if you use a 10% off, it is um, 
And if you use a 15% off, it's going to be even a little cheaper. It would be what? It would be 330 and 165 So it would be like 395 off. So you would be paying like 3805 or something like that. 3905 or something like that. So it'd be really good. Or 39. Um, 2905 or 2805 for it. And then uh, Flourish is 36. And again, you'd, you'd end up like five bucks off on it, a little bit more, like 525 off on that one. So you'd be just paying just about 30 for that one. I think I paid 32 something for it. 32.40 I paid. And then uh, as you can see, both girls checked it off again, as they always do, and initialed as usual. Our glitter pin, she has her pen back. <laughs> no, this one usually has the dark one, and this one is the one that usually has the dark one. I swear that's the manager. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Um, but anyway, and then they come with the same cute sleeves that they always come with. Generally, I do one palette at a time, but since these are smaller the only part that is going to be like the same is uh swatching i don't think there's any point for me to do separate swatching videos for this so what i've done is i have both colors on my arm and we'll do the hand swatch thing that i usually do so let's get into uh flutter first this is a 12 pan removable magnetic palette from ensley rain also distributed by the Heartmark Co. is their distribution name, EnsleyRain.com. Grant, they are located in Grants Pass, Oregon, which is uh, makes them local to me. They are my favorite indie brand. These two palettes, I am now up to ten in my collection, just from Ensley Rain, and I have two on the way, which means I've actually bought twelve. And um, I only need two more. And I never got Midwinter's Dream or Crystal Skies because I, you know, they're gone. Um, but this one is now 13.2 uh, grams, which is 0.47 of an ounce, which is almost a half of an ounce. Again, we've got our mirror. You know, one reason, another reason why I wanted this size so bad is because anytime I need to like do a BYOP, if I need to or travel, I can pop out any of these that I don't want to be taking with me and I can just take this with me as like a little travel palette or say I want to BYOP a 12 pan here I have one so I just thought that would be really cool and that's another thing I want that's one reason one of the reasons why I decided on the Woodland series because I was not going to get the Woodland series when they were $30 but then they dropped them to 26 and I said okay 26 and a code to get um another 260 off it literally makes them 23 something 2340 and that is a decent price for the little six pans because if you think about the mats four mats these are big enough mats to say they're five dollars a piece that's 20 bucks just for that and then you get two special shades which are generally multi-chromes so it's totally worth it and a mirror and six pan removable i thought those would be so good if like if i'm ever like picking my eyeshadow look the night before i can just like pop those instead of just leaving them sitting out i could just i don't know there's just options I have because I'm going to be getting that like a uh, Z palette too that I'm going to have to, for storage. So, um, I really love this color story. I think it's just a grungy dream. And I think this transitions from fall into winter super well. That was another reason why I really wanted to get this one. So just so excited. I, am, ugh, this color right here is so awesome. So many shades are so awesome. Um, a couple of these are kind of harder. You can see this one flips like a yellow. This one's flipping purple. Um, I can't remember what that one's flipping. Oh, that one's flipping like a reddish color. And then, um, yeah, there's a lot of multicrums in here. That one looks like it's going green. And so almost every one of them in here is like a, uh, a duochrome or a multichrome. Now in Flourish, they aren't necessarily, but I think that has to do with the fact that we have a lot more um, bright shades going on in here. And by the way, this one is 13.2. It's the same weight, same removable pans and everything that I just mentioned. But when I go like this, you can tell that it's more so like these couple over here. There's a little bit of flip going on, but 
Yeah. This shade feels kind of like that scratchy. Sometimes when purples or reds can feel like that scratchy it, because of the formula, that one kind of feels like that. But I like when they feel like that. It just, it feels like they're like little hard balls, but they blend right out really nicely. So I can tell that shade's going to blend really nicely, I bet. But this is the one I'm going to do a makeup look with. So let's go ahead and get these swatched out, this, the shimmer shades. And so just for starters, just so that you can see here, um, here is Flutter. Sorry, I want to be able to name the names off for you. Oops, I gotta, hold on, let me secure this. I don't want to be dropping this now. Okay, so starting with the orange shade, it is called Orchard Orange. Then we have a shade called Flicker. So Orchard Orange is super bright. It's literally like the color of cantaloupe. I want you to know I did have to build this one up about three times to get it to show up on camera, but here I can see it. The reason you're having a hard time seeing this one on me is because I am fair, but I lean warm, but I do have a lot of peach in my skin tone and my undertone as well. So that's why you're having a harder time seeing this one on me. Now Flicker here is like a... Uh, gray but it's not just your typical gray it's definitely got some like a really nice warm and soft uh like it's got some like yellow and green going through it uh, i think it's more green than yellow going through it but it's really a stunning it's not just your basic gray flicker and then of course serenity here is just kind of like an apple green type color a little bit softer and more muted than that these uh these two are definitely muted uh so is this these are this one's muted as well um but then uh what was I going to say about it? Um, it reminded me of the shade that I had in the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. And I have always wanted to replace that palette specifically for that shade. Now I no longer have the desire to need to repurchase repurchase Zulu. I had given it to a friend who didn't have any makeup. And uh, so now I have my replacement for it. Again, I want you to know I am seeing the same type of buildable formula that I normally see. This shade, I only had to build up once, but I think I built it up twice. Same here, twice. Only needed to build it up once, only once. And I barely needed to add a little bit here. Okay. You even kind of get like a little Beetlejuice vibe from that, right? Kind of Halloween-y vibe, fall vibe, the grungy vibe. You could even take that into other times of the year easily. So shall we start with some shimmers? Uh, the first one, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't also finish the shades. Then we have Wisp. Serenity was this one. Wisp here is uh, kind of like your, um, it's, it's kind of, it, 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 it really reminds me of a shade in the Strange and Unusual palette that is called Beetlejuice. It's the deeper purple in that one. It's kind of like your mid-tone purple, um, and it's kind of like more leaning plum. And then this one here, oh, I love a shade like this. This is called Magic Moss, but it, you know, it's kind of like that one that's in the Heather Austin palette, uh, Mythology, you know, your that mustard type color, but there's some more green going through this one. So still very unique for a mustard shade. And and then here we have Echo. Uh, Echo is a very soft black with maybe some green or uh, gray going through. It looks like some green going through. It's very, yeah, green and gray. Very soft. It's not like a pitch black black. So soft enough to kind of work with these colors here, I feel. Um, you know what? Let me just go down and tell you about the Flourish shades as well really quickly. So here for, um, oh, and then, so I built this one up three times just so you could see it. This one I only built up once. This one I built up twice. This one I only built up once, once. And then this one I just added a touch. Now for these, I only built this one up once. It was plenty vibrant. This is called Begonias and it is a yellow. It's a spring yellow, I would call it. Then here we have Thistle. It looks more deep purple in the pan, but then when you put it on, it looks more pink to me, but it's still coming up more purple like it looks in the pan to you. But in person, it actually looks a little bit more pink, showing me again that it's going to build up. Then we have the shade here, Flourish. Now this one does kind of remind me of the same kind of cantaloupe shade here, but this one's got more vibrancy to it. <laughs> Then we have the shade Pink Paradise. It's a like hot pink, like a neon pink. Absolutely love it. And mm, Petal Pop. Mm. Petal Pop is that one that I said felt kind of grainy, but it is like a, a shade that is in the Ellis Atlantis palette. Um, 
I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head and I don't want to hop up to get it, but it looks like one in the top row and it, it, I love this like neon yellow green. And then the final shade is called Caligna and it is like a brown, but it's got a lot of like that purple tone running through it and like a brown with a purple. It's just stunning and it's a plummy purple, so it's warm. And you can see the vibrancy in some of those. I would call this a neon, this a neon, this one, and that's these are all really vibrant. And then you got your depth. I think they did a really good job giving you depth and variety in here. Ooh, I need a second for my hand now. Okay, now we're on to the hand swatches. Great. So we'll start with, we'll go back to Flutter now so I can uh, show you these. Let's just go three in a hand, three on a hand, and I'll just go across. Yeah, let's go across. So I'm going to start with the bottom row. I'm going to go into the shade called Dewdrop. This is my first time seeing any of these. Then we have the shade called Sif, Sylph, sorry. I kind of put, got some of the, you know, and I couldn't see the name. And then we have Mystic Meadow. So first of all, what am I feeling here? Feeling um, nice and thin. One of those that feels like real kind of silky, like it's going to blend out really easily. Now in the pan, I'm seeing blue with turquoise and purple and blue flecks in it. Sylph feels really similar to a uh, shade in Flower Moon. It's got kind of that peachy base to it with that pink and blue flip to it. And it's got sparkles of green and pink and purple in it. Then Mystic Meadow is so pretty. Oh, and this one has a tiny bit of chunk to it. But it's not, I wouldn't call that chunk. It's going to thin right out. This is the thinnest of the three. This is the thickest and this would be right in between. Now this one here is called Mystic Meadow. It's very vibrant in the pan. It kind of reminds me of the uh, shade Souls in Harvest Moon, or I mean Harvest of Souls by Fantasy Cosmetica. If you have that one, it's giving me that kind of vibe without seeing it swatched out yet. Um, but I see turquoise. Oh yeah, it's got a strong um, turquoise flip on it. Really pretty. And it's got kind of that, oh, it's got a pink and a turquoise, maybe a green flip on it. So let's get these swatched out after we look at the fingers here. Let me get, make sure these are on the tips of the fingers. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, we see some purple and blue in here. That one's kind of hard to see. Usually right here, see? So this has got that like peachy base and we've got some green going through. It kind of reminds me of Shattered Stars as well from the Lands of Enchantment palette. And this one, like I said, reminds me of something in Flower Moon and another two shades I actually have. And then this one, yeah, you can see how light that one gets there. With that peachy base, that's gorgeous. I love that, it's gonna look really nice. That iridescent type base. Okay. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Super duper thin. No chunk or anything. Yeah, that is silky smooth. And now this one I said was the thickest, but oh, wow. Yeah, it's just like Shattered Stars. It's just a little bit thicker, but it smooths right out. That peachy base. Oh, love it. And again, this one I said was the thinnest of them all. I still stand by that. These are stunning, first of all. This is what's left. Now, I push them out and manipulate them uh, as much as possible because you're going to see them in the pan yourselves and when you put them, but I like to really thin them out for you. So like I was saying, here's that peachy base. Look at that stripe going up my hand. It looks like these all go, these two go completely translucent and this one goes to that like peachy color. We've got the, we've got a, um, this one's like a, like really bright blue. This one's like a, teal and then this one's more like blue like baby blue kind of though oh this one's got teal this one's got a lot of sparkles in it this one's straight up just like the teal color just teal flakes in it this one's got the blue and pink in it with the peachy base and then this one has a ton of teal and then a blue that just barely is like different from it but then you've got like pink and orange and sparkles in it I'm just trying to make sure I look at it as much as possible so I can tell you exactly what I'm seeing. Kind of hard to pick them up on here, like those the, the sparkles because they're so small. I had to look really closely in my hand to see them. So you probably have to see it yourself up close to be able to see that part. But I love that peachy base on that. That's gorgeous. All right. So let's move on to our next ones. Oh, I got to get the wipe out. Sorry about that. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to do a look with a flourish. 
Oh, usually I show you those against them. I'm so, I get so excited. I forget things. Okay. Next, I'm going to swatch out Golden Hour, Pixie Petal, and Moonflower. Now, Pixie Petal looks like one of them in Cold Moon. The more emollient that you got, you just barely dip your finger in. And then we have Golden Hour. Oh, I cannot wait to see this one. This has been the one I have been wanting this palette for. And oh, God. Yep. And then Moonflowers here. So to start Pixie Petal, see this, if you've seen the shades in Cold Moon, the really like more emollient thick ones, really foiled shade, really look like molten. That's what the thickness of that one is. So when you pick that one up, you don't want to be picking up a lot. You, you can pick up too much. Um, I only picked up this much because I'm swatching them for you. I would barely dip my finger into these if I was doing this a look with these. So with Pixie Petal, you've got pink and it has like a gold flip and I see a green flip on it like well I, I see pink and yellow and green for sure in the pan then in golden hour golden hour is so dang unique first of all it's like this uh periwinkle color and you can see a green a yellow an orange flip just dancing around on my middle finger there already look at that look at that green and yellow and periwinkle and orange just flipping around on my finger look at that that is so insane and it's a holochrome i think then we have Moonflower here, kind of similar to Sylph, but it's different. It's definitely got some more body to it. Um, definitely seeing some peach in there with the blue. Oh my god. Look at that center shade. Look at it reflect off of my fingernail. Look at it reflecting off of my fingernail right there. It is literally reflecting off my fingernail. It's so bright. I don't know why this like never like ceases to amaze me, but see this one turning yellow for sure. And maybe some green. Oh my God. So stunning. Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you guys? So a, a dog has two cones in their eyes. The cones are what help you see the, the color, the, the, the color rays. And so uh, dogs have two. One of the colors that we see, they don't see. And humans have three. But did you know a dragonfly has 16 cones in its eye? Can you imagine what kind of colors a dragonfly must be seeing compared to us or a dog? 16 cones. We have three. And we see all the colors that we see. I, would, and I wish I could see. And then they see it on like a kaleidoscope. Like, I would love to see what a, what a dragonfly sees. Oh my god, this middle shade. And again, they're thinning out so beautifully. Look at that. Wow, that's just what stayed on my finger. Well, it just wouldn't come off. Here, let's put let's just add some to that finger. I can't wait to show you. Whoa! Look at that green. Look at that. Look at that one. Those translucent and that one goes peach again. Oh my god, that one goes translucent and then it bounces yellow when it's translucent that way. Oh my god. Look at that. That one can go translucent too. Here it is from straight on. I'm in love. Can I just marry Ansley Rain? Oh, and I realized why the mirror hasn't been working. Because the light's been on the wrong side. So you haven't been able to see it. The flip. Because I've had the mirror on this side this whole time. And that's why you haven't been able to like see the flips in the mirror. This is really awkward because I have to hold this like a really friggin' weird way right now. Um, I, this is odd for me to be on this side. See, when I have it on this side, you usually can't see it. See, it just looks the same. And it's because the light's all in the mirror, bouncing off the mirror, see? So you can't really see it. But I was realizing last night that was what the problem was. 
Anyway, so we can go on to Flourish now. But that is this shade. Oh, here, let me look at this really quickly. So, yeah, I see the periwinkle. I see like a peach, orange, green, yellow, like I said, um, that peachy base again with just another variety of colors. I kind of wish I had switched Moonflower and Sylph out on the hand together. I didn't know they were going to look so similar. Um, and then this one here, Pixie Petal and that yellow flip on it. Oh. It's just stunning. I just can't believe it. This is just, I mean, look at my fingers. All right. Two more sets. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well, I, I don't, I can't put it back on. Well, I could, I can, but I mean, that's such a waste of my shades. You guys remind me next time now. By the way, if you want to know what's on my lip, it's lips. It's the e.l.f. $2 red lip liner. Um, and I have on the Blend Bunny Juicy Cheeks in Juicy. And I'm going to do something, and we're going to use this to top it. Next is Dahlia Magic. It is such a like bright pink with a orange and gold going through it. It's pretty smooth. Nectar is pink with the pink and blue going through it. Or orange, actually. Excuse me. It's orange with pink and blue going through it. And I think which other one do I want to swatch together? And then we're going to do fairy. No, we'll uh, do sunbeam. I like to try to put like the three that look the most alike so you can see any differences between them. And then uh, Sunbeam is orange with a blue flip on it. Maybe a green flip too. Maybe yellow. I guess we'll find out here. So this is a uh, Dahlia Magic. Let's see, that's one with the pink with the orange and gold flip on that. And I wonder if there's going to be some green in there. Then this one is called the Nectar. That's that orange with the blue and pink in it. Look at that. It looks almost like that radioactive and then here, oh my god, Sunbeam is kind of like that melon color, but it's got yellow and pink going through it that I can see so far. Oh wow, you guys, these are stunning and flourish. Holy. Wow. This one's kind of like the a couple that I had talked about in Cosmic Dreamer, how they kind of have, get this little bit of flakiness and you just have to smooth it out, but it's fine. It just smooths right out. See how it kind of builds up there? But they go so smooth. It is, it's not a problem at all. Oh my God. And that one's got silver sparkles going through it. Sunbeam. Oh, and pink sparkles and yellow sparkles. Okay. So here's the Dahlia Magic that's going to go yellow. Here's the Nectar and Sunbeam. This one has pink and yellow, like a ton of pink and yellow going through it at that yellow flip. And then um, an orange and yellow flip on it. Then this one, Nectar, has again that pink and yellow, pink and blue flip on it. And then uh, Dahlia Magic has that orange and yellow flip on it. Maybe I swatched too many like too many close shades together, but I do want you to see the differences so you don't think that they're all similar or anything. Oh, look at there! You can see the yellow and orange right when I see see when I turn and the light hit it. Look at that! That's pink normally. That's pink in the pan. Or yeah, that's that is Dahlia magic. Right here. Right under my finger. See that? How it flips in the pan, too. This one right next to my pinky. Right under my pinky. Look at that light. Like, catch that. Oh, my God. Now let's try to remember, at least. So those go with these. See, I don't like switching two palettes on my hand, but I only did it since there's only like six mats and six mats. 
Okay. Oh my God. I have no idea what I'm going to use today. Wow. I always figure it out right before I do my makeup. Okay. Now we have Garden Glow Buttercup Bliss and Fairy Flutter left. Oh, the, by the way, you guys, you know, for me doing my makeup for like the last week, I just had a pile of glitter on my floor that I had to sweep up today. A liter, literal, just pile of glitter because I always do my makeup right here. Just pile of glitter. This is Garden Glow. It looks like the shade in um, the Adept palette, to tell you the truth, in the Cyborg Choir palette. I swear it's the same shade. And then um, Buttercup Bliss. I mean, it made me think of it that quickly. It's got the it's it's got the blue radioactive flip on it. It has to be. And then we have uh, Buttercup Bliss. And then we have Fairy Flutter, which is also like a shade from the Cold Moon palette. Oh my God, it's got orange in it. I die for orange. Look at that. Look at those flips right there. Oh, these are stunning. And think you can add little accents of pops to anything or go full crazy. I just don't even, I just don't even know. Just, I mean, I've just been mind blown. Like, look at that green, pink, blue, yellow. Oh my God, orange. That's like every color in that one right there, that fairy one. Oh, pink running all through this yellow, just dancing with pink and orange inside of it. Oh my God, that's stunning. And it's a holochrome, I think, maybe, I can't tell yet. And then this looks exactly like that uh, shade in Adept Cyborg Choir. I'm gonna show you that real fast. Because what I'll do is I'll leave a little bit of room to swatch it next to it. Because I swear to the Lord, it is, yeah, Cybernetic Spark right here. Yeah, it's the same shade. Oh, yeah, that's the same shade. That's exact. <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it as soon as I saw it. So see my pinky and my, for, and my forefinger? That's the same shade. So if you have Cyber Choir, you at least have this shade. <laughs> if... There's no extra flips on the Inslee Rain one here, so I gotta leave a little room for Cybernetic Spark as well. Yep, that's exactly what Cybernetic Spark looks like. It's one of my favorite shades in there, so I know. I know that's one of my favorite palettes from Adept. It's like my second favorite palette from them. I decided I finally kicked Flying Fiddles out of the place because I just I didn't. They made me like Holochromes. Bliss is stunning. That one's got the most like just a little bit of flakiness. Takes the longest to like smooth it out. It's not a bad. It's not like bad. And this is that, oh, I think we're going to do something with this shade today. It literally looks like molten metal. Oh, wow. See, I didn't know how to work with these shades at first, like a lot of them in the Cold Moon palette, but I learned. And then this is the one that's from Adept right here. That's why I'm making it little to the side. That's the Adept, and we're just comparing it to the other one, and I didn't have very much, but... Again, look, look at that. And I tried to get it all off. I tried to get it all on here. And that's what's left on my finger. Look at that. Look at my middle finger. Oh, it's covered in yellow. Look at that. I should start doing those finger swatches for you guys too, maybe. Yep. Hands down. Exact same shade. First of all, look at that. Exact. It's just, I don't, just don't have as much on here. Just so you know. I'm not joshing you. I just need more of it. There we go. See, exact same shade. There's a little bit of more vibrant. I think that, you know, because they have a different formula probably, but it's the same shift. Look at that outer shade. Look at my outer palm because I got that. I rubbed that shade, that fairy shade all over my palm, the edge there. So look at my whole edge there. You can see both colors. You can see the pink and the gold going up my hand in it. Look at that one in the middle, Bliss. And it goes like translucent base. It goes translucent base and looks pink. And then it goes yellow, like gold, yellow, like bright. Oh my God. And this like metal looking. I don't know. I really like this uh, Bliss shade too here. I don't know what I'm going to use. But again, with these bright shades. 
I mean, how can you go wrong with Inslee Rain, you guys? Like, look at that. I picked up six, these six shades for $30 and six mats for less than $30. 12, which is what you usually get from Adept. Well, because Adept had like the Heather Austin palette is this size. I may have a couple more mats, but I still have a six six split, which so I'm happy with that. And it's only thirty less than thirty dollars. If this was a depth, it would be at least fifty six. At least that was the Heather Austin price. Sorry, this one was thirty two. This one was under thirty. I spent three hours on uh, reels and photography before I made this video. I haven't even eaten yet today. So while I clean up my arm, I'm going to go eat my um, English muffin that's in the toaster. It's probably not even warm now, so I probably can't even spread butter on it at this point. But um, when I come back, we're going to do an eye look. I'm going to think about it while I eat my English muffin, and I will be back, and we will do this look and get this video done. All right. You have a good weight. At least it'll take, be a lot quicker for you than me. So, And I, at least I have all my makeup done, too. So you, I'll have my eyes primed when I come back. All right. All right. So um, I really didn't have time to eat. I just ate, like, half my English muffin. And I made some soup, too, so I can eat when I'm done here. But uh, I did get the butterflies as well this time. Again, from Ensley Rain, as they always put in. I forgot to mention that. So, And again, I still... Um, they're different. They must have a lot of variety of stickers that they give out. So I've got a good stack going. I have one other one than these, but it's somewhere else. But this is everything that I got since September. And it's quite a little variety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I've gotten 13 all together and I've bought 12 palettes. So, um, and I've only gotten doubles of this one, which that's fine. It's actually their logo. Um, so I really am drawn to this one because of the brights and I really want to use this, especially after seeing some of these shades here. I'm thinking of doing a more like graphic-y type look is what I was thinking. I mean, I can always do green and pink. I want it to be more graphic than that. Okay, I think I'm going to do green and pink up top and yellow and this brown on bottom and I have no idea what shimmers but I don't want to mix them I don't think they just both kind of give off different vibes and so it's not like anything like against it or anything but um it's just not what I want to do yet so oh, I did not prime my eyes either I don't, if anyone out there like records their own videos too, all right, do you ever like put your video on record because you're recording on your phone? Because I'm not recording on like a camera. I like worry that like my camera's gonna like cut off and like if I lose the video, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna have to re-record the whole thing. So um, I never like to like leave it sitting there on pause for very long. I don't know when it would time out. I don't want to find out. I don't know if it's when like my phone would time out, if it would time out then. Of course I'm using my Merle Norman uh, lavender because obviously I'm working with neons today so I'm going to use more than I normally do and I because I really want my look to pop today and I want these colors to be as true as possible without my eye color which come on I'm fair it's not that bad anyway but I don't I want to give these the best chance to perform. I'm just taking, rubbing just a dab extra right on the line of it there just so I can 
drag it also under here. I want to make sure the whole look pops today. Can I have this out of the camera? Okay. So I'm actually just going all the way around my eye. All right, now I can use my finger and just blend it out a little bit. You can see from that side how bright that is. So it just, it will, it is best with neons actually than anything else. So of course I'm using this one with it. Light shades, neons, lights, anything bright. All right. I thought I had a hair on it. I'm like, ah, get my hair out of it. I mean, I don't even know. I should try one day, like, with no eye primer. It's just that I'm an eye primer girl because I get oily eyelids otherwise. I, like, have to use eye primer because my eyelids are oily. So. But you can see why that adds so much vibrance. You can see that, I'm sure. Yes, I do have a hair. I can feel it. I didn't want to stick into my eye makeup. I don't care that a hair is out of place. That's not the problem. I care that it's in, if it's in my eye makeup. Because so, I'm trying to put my eyeshadow on and I got a hair crap to my face. There we go. Okay. By the way, I just have my it CC cream mixed with my e.l.f. foundation because otherwise it's way too dark. And I have on the Lancome Ta Idol Concealer. I have on the e.l.f. Contour and Bronzer. And the new camo ones. Alright, what do I want to do? Definitely going to be utilizing this brush for sure. Should I do like a reverse smoky eye with these two shades? Let's do that. Let's do a reverse smoky eye with these two shades. Do I want the pink up front? Yeah. Yeah, because I can also flow into the yellow if I want to. Okay, so I'm just grabbing up some of Pink Paradise right here. This is just a brush from Beauty School. It doesn't have a name, but I got this in Beauty School. And we're going to do Reverse Smoky Eye. Make sure you can see me. See what I'm doing. Just starting slow. I mean, obviously, this is my first time trying these, just going in for a little bit more gradually. And it will get lighter as it goes out. I think I want to stick right here for the shape. Right there. I'm already thinking what I want to put on my inner corner, probably purple purple inner corner or orange actually either would flow oh do I want to put the orange on next no because then I would have to be like I gotta do yellow next well if I use green am I gonna make purple I'm gonna do yellow next because if I mix yellow and pink it's gonna make orange and I still think that will flow better into green than pink and green like pink and green is gonna make like what brown they're almost opposites of each other yeah so um using color theory here i am gonna dip into yellow next so that is uh begonias here see makeup really isn't that much thought into like it's not that hard to like the math part of it and that's not even math <laughs> It definitely does add up. Alright. In fact, I need to like kind of dust it on. And I don't mind making orange into yellow into green. Pink into yellow into orange into green sounds fine with me. Okay, and now I think maybe just a little bit more. I 
And just because I'm so extra, I'm just going to grab a little bit of Flourish, the actual orange, and lay it right here. Layering just fine. This way I can see how they layer. Pretty good so far. I like that. You can still see. Wait. <sighs> Stressful trying to do so many things. It's because I have a light situation. You're like, you yeah, know, if you had got a light, you wouldn't have so many problems, right? But then it would be so easy. Yeah, I like that better. A lot of times I like to layer my things like this. Like I'll put one down and one down and then come back with something in the middle. Because it just looks more like finished and full and blended and everything. Now I'm going to go back into begonias because I took a lot of that space for the orange. And just kind of reinforce begonias a little bit. I'm going to kind of maybe take it out just a smidge. I think stopping right there is perfect. I just want to kind of connect these two. God, I better get to work on the other side. Oh my goodness. It's like, ugh, I don't have room for green now. And I really wanted the green, and I'm not doing a rainbow eye. I could do the green on the bottom line. I'm going to blue in my map bowl. It's not what I want. There's a lot of kick up in Petal Pop. I mean, I was digging my brush into it because it's a lighter color, but that is a lot of kick up. Don't, you don't, don't need to do that. Um, usually I'm a lot better about that and it just, I did dig the brush and that was my fault, but you probably can't even see it cause my quality, but I just dug it into that and quite a bit of kick up came up and this is a pretty small brush. Can you imagine if I'd had like a big brush and I had done that? Um, that means it, cause if you're not careful, you're going to pan that shade real fast and that's like my most favorite shade in here so I don't want to waste it that's why I kind of like freaked out there maybe I should just cover the yellow no that's fine we'll just this is fine we'll do this and use some of that kick up now that I just wasted there we are I'll use it all. I'm gonna reinforce how colorful this is. I don't know if I went out far enough on the side of my face. There we go. And then I will just go back into begonias a tiny little bit and, and go just right in here one more time. Just so I got that nice soft blend. All right, now I am going to copy the same thing on the other side. I'm going to pause and be right back because I have to have enough time to finish this. And we're at 48 minutes. I'll be right back. I won't do anything without you. I'm such a liar. I did a teensy, 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 tiny little bit. Uh, I finished my... Uh, I, I just did the... So I've got the pink, the orange, the yellow, and the green. And then I took some uh, Caligna right here. And I put that really close. I just tight lined it almost kind of went out like a little wing on top and bottom. And then I just took some of begonias. I went around that. And then I took the petal, petal pop. And I started from this way and went back around and met it up, met up with it. Now, this is what I'm going to use on my inner corner. I am going to take nectar for the inner corner. I'm going to put buttercup Bliss and Sunbeam on my eye, but I'm going to go from um, Nectar on the inner corner to Sunbeam to Buttercup Bliss. So let's check this out. But first, I got to put some of the NYX Glitter Primer on here, and then I can get off of here and I can go eat my food. Okay. Um, I'm just looking for... There it is. I couldn't see it there. 
I need to wash my brushes so bad today. I literally need to take time to wash my brushes. And then I'm just going to need to put, yep, there's my mascara. Same technique I've been using. Smoothing it out until it's tacky. There we go. Anything that's left just on the inner corner and right there. And again on the other side. Try not to blend my colors. There we go. I'm like, please dry. <laughs> that one wouldn't dry as quick as the other side. All right, now for the colors. So um, we'll do nectar last. Well, we could do nectar now. Here it is. And then I'll take you over there to the, do the reveal. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this nectar shade. I almost want, you know what? I'm going to wait and do the inner corner last because maybe I'm going to do that turquoise pop in the inner corner, actually. I might want that in the inner corner. So just what is on my brush, I'm just going to take it and put it right there and right there just so I have a place to put it. And actually, I do have to grab just a smidgen more of it just so because I, I, they're going to have to be the same. There we are. So I'm going to grab on my finger now Sunbeam and I'm going to use my ring finger because I don't want to pick up too much. This one, you're going to be careful picking this up too because you have to thin it out a little bit. Certainly shears out just fine, but you don't want to pick up too much to begin with since uh, you're going to be shearing it out. Oh, that was such a good choice right here. Yes, that was the right choice. I would definitely need a lot more than that though. Okay, yeah, it uses up quickly nice perfect and I'm kind of just taking it to There we go. Now I'm going into Buttercup Bliss, which is this yellow one. Um, and just in case you're curious, this is Buttercup Bliss that I'm using right now. And then Sunbeam was this one. And that one went here. And I just want it to be this lighter yellow one since it's coming out here where the yellow and green is. It's a stunning color. Just anything that's left on my finger, I'm just covering with the other one and I'm actually making sure all the mat is covered. And just to right there with it, not right in the center. Now I need to make my decision if I want that pop of blue. And I think I do. I think that's definitely want what I want, but let me finish putting this on the other side. This one you don't need very much of. It's so beautiful. It's so smooth and soft. And so like I said, I'm just putting it on all the matte shadow. Just barely tapping back into it to make sure I can cover up out here. Now coming back across to the front. So I actually mix, mix the two of them in front. And like I said, just... A tap right here. There's like nothing left on my finger. I can grab just a teeny bit more. There we are. Now I got that little bit like I have on the other under eye. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the uh, inner corner. I'm gonna grab a garden glow here. That's so funny. This is the same shade in the sideboard choir. 
It's a really pretty shade though and I didn't like to use it very much because uh, I didn't want to like waste it so now I can be more I can use it more and not feel so bad. Yes, I'm glad that I did this color here. I really like to make the uh, inner eye pop compared to it. I don't want to put like pink or something. I want to go like completely opposite so it's really different. And that's perfect because those little blue sparkles were in that color that I took right at the inner corner. Just kind of all melds together. I'm so tempted to just barely grab just the tiniest little bit. And maybe put so that some of those greener sparkles can get out here where it's green. Yeah. Just where the green and yellow is. Just the tiniest little bit was on my finger. Okay, now for the lower lash line, let's do just a little bit of this fairy flutter shade. I just want to see what this is going to look like. And I want to take some from just right there. Just kind of like right here. It's so flaky, like kind of hard to pick up. There we go. Oh, it's working though. Just adding a couple of those little like peachy yellow kind of flakes down there because it is that color. You know, it'll be a lot easier to just pick up a little buttercup bliss. There we are. I'm not trying to go too extreme. I just, I kind of want it to be like light, but just a smidge of some extra little shimmer. There we go. All right, I think, do I want anything else over the center? <laughs> just like right on that center. Yeah. I do. I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this like super shiny like bright one. I'm going to take just the teeniest bit of it and put it just where like my pupil is. Oh yeah, that like really adds some like brightness right here. It's going to really direct the light right at that little spot. You're probably like, yeah, well I'm trying to test every shade. Okay, I want every shade on me. <laughs> in love right now. I really wanted Flourish, but I liked Flutter too, so I, I knew I couldn't pick between them. I knew I'd have to get both. And I can't wait for Hoppy Go Lucky, because those colors are so my colors. Both of them are my colors. Because I can wear spring colors and autumn colors. Because when my skin is light enough. Alright, so I just need to put some mascara on and um, just a tiny bit of this eyeliner. I'm just going to grab this NYX one and it's like a coral color and then I'll put my eyeliner, uh, my, oh, and then I'll grab my, uh, I'll grab my, there we go. I want to quit touching my makeup, you know, on my face. When I do like my eyeliner and stuff. I can't do it that way because I don't have the mirror. I have to hold the mirror. Get it for that side. Did it pretty well on the other side, but I can't pull my eye down from this side. I needed it on the other side to do it. I'm just tired of like touching my makeup. It messes it up when you do this. You get like a spot right there from your finger. Wow, well, actually did a really decent job on that side. All right, now just a tiny bit of brown and we're ready. I'm just gonna put this on and then walk over there. 
I am so excited to show you this. Yes, I have the Tower 28 mascara on in the brown drift. And I took a little bit of that shade um, Sunbeam here on the end, the orange one on top. I took just a dab of Sunbeam. I put it on a concealer brush and just dabbed a tiny bit onto my lip. If you don't know that you can do that, I can barely feel it. I just use a thick gloss that I know I'm not going to be able to feel anything in. And these are so fine anyway, you don't feel them. So I just put some of the Inslee Rain Shimmer on my lip. I've done it many times. And you can have like matching lip to anything you do. Look at how bright that is. That's why I wanted it covered. Look at that. It looks like, whoa. Whoa, I think that light was helping. First time ever. Look at that. Let me come over here. Ooh. Here, I'll turn this one off then. Here we go. That is so freaking beautiful. And see the lip? That just peachy shift in it that matches the peach on my eye up here. It's so funny where that lime, that where the green and yellow are because, because the orange is such a short uh, amount. The orange is such a short amount. Before it goes pink, it like barely looks attached. It looks funny. But I don't. I think it looks really interesting. I really like it. God, I wish like an electric blue had been in there. Probably didn't because they gave us the blue, uh, the shade that was so cool, the blue shade. But I really, as usual, highly, highly, highly recommend definitely this one. I didn't have, you wanna know what I had for uh, uh, brights in my collection? I had a private label palette that I had gotten for like $17, I think. And these people were, I think, called Delancey, and they called it the Aurora Glow Eyeshadow. I had bought this because I used to be a raver back in the day. Oh, my video's going to cut off. Anyway, this was the only thing I had before, and it was horrible and was filled with like the glitters and stuff. So that is why. I wanted this one. Okay, the video is going to end, you guys. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this.